What's up everybody, Joseph Truesdale, host of Texas Game Hunters here, and I want to talk to you guys about the Pro Tracker system. Now, you guys have seen it in a few of our episodes, you've seen us post about, about, about it on Facebook, but it's time you actually see it um, up close and personal. Uh, it comes in this case, and let me go ahead and get a close up here. This is the actual system itself. Now, the Pro Tracker system, let me take it off the arrow. This is the system itself. See this little hook? That lodges into the hide of the animal that you shoot. And as soon as it, let me get out one of the demo ones here. So this is one of the practice ones. As you can see, it doesn't have the antenna coming off. This is a, it, basically it's a dummy. It's the same weight, everything. It just it doesn't doesn't have a FM transmitter in it. Um, so it comes out right there. It slides in and it's held in with a little pin, which I'll show you in a second. But when this hits the animal, it goes in. This sticks to the hide as your arrow passes through, and this embeds into the hide. It's like a giant fish hook with a big barb on there so it can't back out. And as it flies in, that comes off, that your arrow keeps going, and this stays on the animal. Uh, this Pro Tracker system, I, I, start, I started using it after I, I took a, a sh maybe not so good of a shot on a red, red deer hind. And we didn't locate her until the vultures located her two days later. It was, it, I felt sick. Uh, but after that, we, we've never lost another animal uh, with this system. And in combination with the broadheads we use, it's a deadly combination. So we use a fixed broadhead just because you get better penetrating power. Just I mean, it's a personal preference. I'm not going to get into that, that <laughs> discussion here. Uh, but... You can see the pins on it right here. It's it's just a little plastic rod that you slip through and break off, and then it's and then you put I put a rubber band around it, which comes with the system just to help hold it in place. So during your more high high velocity uh, arrows, like over 300 feet per second, it does it won't that pin won't break during flight and come loose. Uh, it helps hold that pin in there. Uh, but this is your Pro Tracker system. Now, what's in the case, when we open the case up, oh, it looks like one of the cases in the movie, you open it up and there's a whole bunch of money in there. But this, to me, this is worth just as much. <laughs> so you have your handheld unit, which is right here. You have the transmitter, which pops onto the top of it. That's what, that's what picks up the FM signal from your, that the uh, transmitter takes off and then you got your chargers you got your plug and then you got extra extra uh, heads that holds the units in place so this is this is your whole kit so you can keep everything in everything in line organized he's ready to go on your trip now how do we use this I mean how what's what's the battery life what's the range those are probably all questions you're asking yourself does it work the answer is yes it works uh, I, I, on my last hunt I was out we 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 shot a deer <clears throat> he ran about a hundred yards and it took us right to him no problem I mean all I did was get out the system I let it calibrate and to let it calibrate you just you you can program your heads and you can program I think up to six six trackers in here uh, you just choose the tracker you want, hit enter. Of course, you have the transmitter hooked at the top, and you let it get a reading. And then you move about 10 degrees, you let it get another reading, you move 10 degrees, and let it, you just keep moving 10 degrees. I, I like to do sort of, and then whatever has the highest number reading is the strongest signal. That's the direction you walk in. You walk 20 yards, 30 yards, and you do it again. Just because you know, the deer's not going to just run in a straight line. They're going to follow a trail. They're going to, they're going to, 
zigzag. They're gonna, they're, they're not, you know, they're, they're not gonna just run in a straight line. So every 20, 30 yards, you do that, and it takes you right to it. And uh, it's got a two mile radius on it. So as long as it deers within two miles of this transmitter, you're gonna get a reading. Uh, the closer you are, the stronger reading you it you you get. Once you get into that about 175, as far as the number. Uh, that means you're getting pretty darn close within 20 30 yards of them once you hit 200 you're like right on top of them so if you have like a five you're probably a long ways away if you're at 100 you know so on and so forth and then the tracker itself has a 12 hour battery life uh, so let's say you make a gut shot with a gut shot we want to wait at least six hours uh, four to six hours and then you can come get a reading and then, but you still have plenty of time. And it does not start transmitting until it, it comes out of the holder. There's a little magnet. Where's that one that I had? So there's a, little, there's a little magnet on the bottom of here and in here. So when you put it in here, it's actually getting a magnetic reading, which once those magnets are disconnected, that's when it starts transmitting. So you don't have to worry about 12 hours from the start of your hunt. It's 12 hours from when this is disconnected and lodged into the side of your animal. So Pro Tracker, check out their website. Check them out. It's definitely a, a product I think every bow hunter should have. If it's legal in your state, some states do not let any electronic, any kind of, uh, even lighted knocks are illegal in some states. So check your state, check with your local DNR, and make sure that you're that you're allowed to use it but if you are this is definitely a product you need to have and need to have in your arsenal uh, it doesn't affect the arrow flight the arrow flight still flies true it's a little bit heavier but when you cut off part of your arrow to make it because you compensate for the length so I cut off about that much of my arrow it did reduce some of the weight to compensate but it is a little bit heavier it, it added about 110 grains total by the time I took subtracted and took everything away uh, so I would say about 35 yards is about the max I'm gonna shoot with it just because of the drop which would have been about a I say about comparable to about a 50 yard shot before without it uh, but even before shooting 50 yard groups I wouldn't shoot a deer at 50 yards with the bow that's just me personally because too much can happen in that time Speed wise, it's still the same. Uh, I mean a little bit less because it's a little bit heavier But you get the drop from the weight not really in the, in the reduction of speed and it still has that penetrating power to get those path pass throughs dive deep into the animal um, You're, you're gonna be happy with it. So check them out. You're not gonna be sorry pro tracker